letting go of fear. Fear is something that we experience in all different shapes and forms. You might be experiencing it right now, fear of the unknown, fear of change, fear of what does your next chapter look like. You might be having fear of not being able to do your normal routine, fear of your normal activity, fear of your relationship, fear of gaining weight, fear of your own confidence and your own skill set and not being good enough. Whatever that fear is that you have inside you, I promise you can let it go. And in order to let fear go, a really good thing that I have been practicing over the years is a really simple process that I want to share with you today. And fear stems from thoughts. And there's a pattern in these videos, you'll see. But fear stems from thoughts and thoughts we create. And the thoughts that we create, we create internally around fears based on maybe pieces of conversations that we've heard other people say. We take abstracts from the media, we take abstracts from colleagues, friends, family. We then put it all together and we let it fester within our heads. And as it starts to fester, if you watched yesterday's video, that's where anxiety comes. And when that anxiety starts to come, you can also turn that into fear. And that fear can engulf you and it can encompass you and it can really start to mess with how you think, how you feel and what you do in your day-to-day -day life. But fear can be combated by taking action, by taking meaningful action. And in order to take meaningful action, you have to work out, first up, your belief system. What do you actually believe to be true? And what do you actually believe within yourself is going on in your current situation? You need to look at the hard facts. You need to look internally at yourself and you need to look at really what is going on within your current sphere. Now, the facts are sometimes things that we avoid. We avoid looking at the finances. We avoid looking at the rota. We avoid looking at the schedule. We avoid looking in the fridge. We avoid going online and checking out the workout. But you need to stop avoiding. You need to first and foremost face it head on. Because when you do start to face these things head on and actually get rid of that procrastination and start to take action, you realise very, very quickly that that fear that you've been allowing to build up inside can be dispersed so, so quickly, so, so freely. Because the fear, the longer you hold on to it and the longer you feed it energy, the worse it gets, the bigger it grows and the more it's going to consume and absorb you. But if you are able to dive into yourself and really tap into what that fear is and then cut it off and let it go by taking action, you're going to really start to transform your life, transform your mindset and transform your overall happiness. Now, some things for fear are so, so far out of your comfort zone right now that I like to look at it in what we call a circle of possibility. So the circle of possibility is your immediate circle and within that circle is where you are comfortable. Now, just outside that circle are things that are starting to scare you. So there's a couple of little things that right now, you know, if you were to really have a good day, have a positive day and go all in on one of those things, you would be able to combat that fear. And what I want you to do is to have that inner circle where you're safe and then day by day start to cross off the fears on the outside. Once you've crossed all of those fears off on the outside, you're then going to draw a bigger circle around it. And just out with those walls, again, you're going to write some fears that are now just a little bit further away. But you see, you've already started to take action and you've already started to overcome the fears that were within that first circle. So you're probably going to start to feel good about yourself. You're going to start to feel like you've got control and you're going to start to feel like things aren't as bad as what they seem. The more you can step up and push that circle until it completely expands to your biggest, greatest, deepest, darkest fears, you'll then realise that you are capable of absolutely anything in this world and nothing is out with your grasp and out with your reach. You're allowed to dream a little bigger and you're allowed to act a little bolder. Do not let fear confine you. Start to take action now and if this is something you want help with, you know where I am.